Hey, AJ here. This is a video all about nailing the perfect start. This is a masterclass available exclusively inside of the Moto Academy app. Go to club.themotoacademy.com if you like this video and you wanna see the entire rest of the start masterclass. Enjoy. Welcome to the Moto Academy starting masterclass. First things first, what gate are we picking and why? So there's an argument of position over condition. What that means is do we wanna pick the gate that has the best line choice and the best rut coming out? Or do we wanna pick a gate that makes the most sense going into the first corner? This is completely dependent on the situation. Some tracks that you guys ride, you're gonna have a really deep ruts coming out of it. And it's important to make sure we get a nice, smooth, consistent, straight rut. And that will be more important if it's less significant on your track and there isn't much of a rut coming out, then yes, now it's about position and making sure that we have the shortest distance and the best angle to the first corner. Honestly, I would argue that for most riders, that isn't even that relevant. What matters the most is body position and clutch release. So first things first, we wanna make sure that our feet are tight in front of the foot pegs. What you actually wanna do is wedge it in your feet almost in between the shift lever and the brake lever and the foot peg. It is okay if your foot pegs end up bent up because you're putting so much weight on your Achilles and the backside of your calf into the foot pegs. This is actually gonna help hold you into position. Next thing moving up from there is where we wanna sit on the seat with our butt. We don't wanna have our weight too far forward because we will naturally slide back a little bit when we go to accelerate, but here's the trick. Sit all the way to the front of the seat and then drag your butt back to about one hand width from the front. It should put you right in the pocket, the sweet spot of the seat. Sitting all the way forward and sliding back, what that will do is it will actually pull your pants tight underneath you so you no longer have that slack and that little bit of play to where when you accelerate, now our butt's gonna shift back that half an inch, that one inch, those two inches, which ultimately is going to disrupt the weight of the motorcycle. So sit all the way forward, slide back, pulling your pants nice and tight underneath you. Oh hey, quick break from this video. We're giving away a trip. We're flying somebody in from anywhere in the world. All you have to do to win this all expense paid trip is go to club.themotoacademy.com, subscribe to the Moto Academy app, and we're picking a winner on September 15th. These things have been awesome. We've flown people in from everywhere. Don't miss out, you get a chance to train with the Moto Academy team. And if you live international, don't worry, we pick people from literally anywhere in the world. Club.themotoacademy.com. Subscribe before September 15th. See you guys in there. The way I teach is chest all the way down and hold it there. It's one less movement to worry about. There are some guys that start more upright and then pull themselves forward upon acceleration. But I find it to just be easier to bring your chest all the way down to the crossbar pad and stay there and don't move. The best starters in the world are the ones that you watch and when that gate drops to basically when they get to the first corner, they do not move from that position at all. Most of you guys are gonna to wanna to start in second gear. So what I want you to do is pull the clutch in with two fingers. I, I tell everybody to ride on the track with one finger, pointer finger on the clutch, pointer finger on the front brake. When we do starts, I think two fingers is important because it gives you a little bit more control and a little bit more feedback in knowing how to let that clutch out nice and easy. One finger tends to drop the clutch a little bit too quick. So to put that bike into gear, we're gonna pull that clutch in with two fingers and go straight up to second. Common mistake here is I would see riders go down to first and then try to shift up to second, which leaves you susceptible to being in that neutral.